welcome back to the off-grid family today we've decided to go fishing and there's loads of places around us to go fishing and I bought loads of like fishing rods and all that sort of stuff a few years ago uh, before we had George and Lily and um, well I never managed to really I never Never managed to go, so um, we've decided we'll go out today. We found a place called North Place, North Glass, maybe. It's not glass. It's Clace, 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 something like that. Um, I'm sure we'll be told off by someone who, who knows it. L A I S. And um, we're just going to go fishing. If we catch anything, then we'll have it for our tea. If we don't catch anything, then we'll be cooking something different. Beans on toast. Let's get on. Okay, we arrived at our place and um, last night when we were looking for where to go um, we knew it was going to be low tide when we got here but we thought, you know, there's, you know, there's still, we're going to still be able to fish, you know, there's lots of rocky outcrops and so on but um, I've just looked and I don't think there's going to be fishing today but we're going to have a look and we'll have a nice walk if not. Okay, so we've just paid a man £2 to park in this car park but all he's got is a sign and a car. <laughs> don't even know if he owns the car park but who cares. Something clear, isn't it? There's a little fish just going there. Stop moving. Look at the bottom of the floor. They're camouflaged, but they're there. Oh, there's a crab there. Chris, yeah. it's really hard to see in this. Oh, yes. Um, where is it? I can see it. Um, of course, the path. It's worth having a look. It's actually a place to fish down here, look. Holds your shoes. Yeah, I have actually, and both of my shoes, in fact. Oh, 
absolutely infested with razor clowns. or something, aren't they? Catfish. Okay, bets on which one of us fall over first. No, I can't. This bit is bad. That's what we should do. So there's going to be some amazing sharks now. Oh my Hello, Mr. Pilly Pala. There's steps. I literally couldn't fit my thigh down that. <laughs> Don't want to fall in there either. Did I get rid of a dead body? Hmm. Isn't it? We just to make sure it was all overgrown again. <laughs> Let's go. On rods. Man, if you see it, it's a magpie. It's really close. Where is it? There it is.
Okay, so obviously we didn't get any fishing done, but it was really nice actually. It was a really nice walk, wasn't it? Yeah. So I'm hot now. I'm boiling. Um, so are we going to go somewhere else? Have a yeah, look? I'm going to try and find the lifeboat. Like, uh, oh yeah. Okay, we're going to. Is it the lifeboat or is it the lighthouse? Lifeboat, I think. I yeah. Think okay, so we're going to go and find the place where they launch the lifeboats from and stuff. So if if there's a bit after this, then you know we found it. The lifeboat thing station. We're in St. Justinian's. Not sure, quite sure where that is. Somewhere in St. David's. So we're going to walk down that path there and see what we can find. Okay, it looks like we can actually go and visit the lifeboat station. So let's go and have a look. There's a sign there saying open, and then there's a big bloody gate there with a lock on it saying closed. I'm not sure which one I believe. Hmm. Should I get my lock picks out? Copy leg over. I can see me jumping that. Easy peasy. Oh, I'm just going to roll under there. <laughs> You're going under, are you? I'm going over, let's go. Okay, I've just finished picking the lock, let's go. to be able to tackle the waves, doesn't it? Oh, there's a lift downstairs as well. Incredible, isn't it? Well done. Step back, step back. Wow.
Oh, I couldn't imagine. Yeah. This is all the people they've helped and, you know, lives they've saved, etc. It's incredible. Well, there we go. It was quite a nice little walk. It obviously was supposed to be fishing, but that obviously never happened. But, um, you know, I think we're both going to have to go home, take a lot of pain meds and sit down for a long period of time. But was it worth it? Well, and truly not good. Yeah, did you enjoy it, though? I enjoyed it. Yeah? We've got to live in such a beautiful place. I know, and we, uh, we just don't take any notice of it, do we? It's like, um, we realised we haven't been to a beach for, like, three years. We've got beaches everywhere. Don't get me wrong, the weather isn't always great, but even so, you know... We're trying to take more advantage of it, you know, while we still can. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye.